We're going to study the combustion of hydrogen gas in a rather interesting kind of way. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is fill these, these test tubes with hydrogen gas from the cylinder. Uh, this valve on the cylinder is opened slightly. This is my, uh, my fine control, uh, although it's not as fine as, uh, as it might be. So there might be a little bit of splashing. But with practice and you get used to the valve that you're use, using, uh, you can control it fairly easily. First, I'll, uh, I'll bleed any hydrogen gas I have in the tube. out of the tube. Now, you know that hydro hydrogen is less dense than air. So I'll collect it by the downward displacement of air. And now I don't mind having it on a little faster. One tube. Now, I can feel the gas coming out of the bottom of the tube, so I get an idea as to when the tube is full. I'll just fill four of them, and if I need more afterwards, I'll do that afterwards. If you dim the lights, please. Now I'm going to do this very quickly, so you have to watch carefully. OK. You observed that I lit one tube and used the first tube to ignite the second. Let's do that again, just in case you didn't see it before. Dim the lights again, please. Now, this is the part that has to be done quickly. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. Ah, notice the difference. This time, it didn't ignite. And I'm going to repeat it again and show you. Uh, I'm going to fill all four tubes again. Uh, and I think you'll get an idea as to how you can get around some of those problems. Can you open the valve, please? A little faster. Okay, turn it off. Okay. I've only got two hands, and that's part of my problem. We're going to have to repeat that. Okay. This time I'll just fill two tubes and do that part right away. Okay. Which, why the difference in the intensity of the flame? Uh, I'm going to do that again. Why the difference in the intensity of the flame, or the, of the pop? Which one popped louder? The one that I op lit this way, or the one that I lit this way? Which one popped louder? Volunteers? The second one. Why? 
That's we'll come to then. Okay, let, we'll do it once more, and I think this will give you a very good idea of why the second one popped louder. Faster. Okay, lights please. Notice what I did. This popped loud because, you notice what I did, the tubes were like this, and I held this, top, this tube upright. I let hydrogen escape or air come in, whichever you like, both happened. So this was impure hydrogen. In the, when we did it the first time, pure hydrogen, and it burnt slowly, right? The flame was still burning in this tube, and you could see the flame jump from one tube to the other. What are we teaching? Density of gases, uh, the effect of, uh, of oxygen on, on the rate of combustion, uh, density, and we'll, we'll actually lead into a few other topics later. Since we've got density covered now, how can we find the density of hydrogen? We'll do that another time. Uh, one more question, and then uh, and comment. <clears throat> you want to safety glasses? Okay. Uh, one of the things that you never ever do, ever, unless you do it the proper way, is put this tube near a flame, because you don't want the the hydrogen burning into the cylinder, right? Mm -hmm. Let's try something. <coughs> Uh, and I'll get very impure hydrogen. Nothing happens. Now, let's repeat that. And uh, when I take the tube out of here, Give me a very, very slight gas flow. Very slight. Lights dimmed. Okay, turn it off, please. And you notice I'm pinching it as well. Turn it right off at the main valve. Okay, we'll do that once more in a slightly different way. Whenever you see, <laughs> I just melted the tube here. You gotta be careful of that too. For scissors? Yeah. So I think I've ripped off the... Um, you've seen uh, glass blowers light gas sources. Uh, unless they know exactly what they're doing, I'm a little leery of it. Uh, but let's, let's try this. A two liter cylinder, uh, remember, large quantity of gas, you cover your ears, cup your ears. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna fill the cylinder with hydrogen gas, then I'm gonna bring it over to that flame. And as I do that, I'm gonna turn the cylinder this way. And I want you to watch, uh, sorry, it's going to be this way to start with. I'm going to light it and turn it upright. Okay, Scott. Dim lights, please. Gas off. Lights, please. Notice the mist on the inside of the cylinder. Uh, and even though I warned you to cup your ears, it wasn't necessary because it was pure gas. And pure gas burns very slowly and very quietly. But it's just a, it's, it's part of a teaching technique, of course. 
to get you thinking that uh, it's going to burn quickly and loudly. Uh, and yet, it, it's, we can talk about it now in, in terms of uh, exactly the same thing happened here as happened in test tubes. One test tube bur burnt slowly, ignited the other. Uh, the gas here burnt from top down very slowly. Uh, and we've got the reaction products now. Uh, we can test the mist with uh, cobalt chloride paper or some other uh, uh, anhydrous copper sulfate. Uh, goes from white to blue, cobalt, cobalt paper goes from blue to pink. Um, and, and you've got a, a, another topic covered in a safe, useful fashion. I wonder what other gases burn that way. I wonder what other gases we can collect by downward displacement of air, upward displacement of air, downward displacement of water, upward displacement of water. Again, that leads into density, which we've talked about. Uh, I hope that gives you a lead into uh, some very interesting experiments you can do and have the kids do themselves with the test tubes. Thank you. <laughs>